So we're going to look at uh, preparing our machine for installation of tools. You need to first of all know what pocket number the tools will each go into. And with this video we'll look at just how to change to those specific pocket numbers. First thing that you need to understand is that these parts of the machine move. And you got to make sure there's no uh, interference within those parts that move. So that you don't have any damage to the machine or your parts or yourself. Second thing is to find out what pocket number is active. On the carousel there is a number, the one that's facing the spindle is the active pocket or the active tool. So right now it's tool 5. We can also find that out in two ways on the controller. You can go to current commands and it is up in the corner. Active tool is tool number 5. We'll be changing those tools with the MDI mode. And when you're in MDI mode, you also have the active tool showing. So while you're in MDI mode and the door is shut so that the interlock is closed, you can go to the MDI mode, which stands for manual data input, over to ATC forward or ATC reverse, stands for automatic tool change forward automatic tool change reverse. Press that button once and it will move the tool one carousel position ahead. So now our tool is in tool six. Now if we want to go to tool one we can go through and do this four more times since we have a number 10 or 10 pocket carousel. But that can be a long time. And on a small machine it's not too bad but you have a carousel that's uh, 100 tools it's going to take a long long time so what you do instead is you go down to make sure you're in mdi make sure, then go down to tool and then specify the pocket that you want so i went t five and then we'll go to atc forward or reverse the controller will figure out the shortest way And now the active tool is back at tool 5. And that is how to change the pockets in preparation for installing tools.